This program contains adult language and situations which may be considered offensive to some viewers and or children, but more likely their parents. Hey people, it's DLF. I got another confession to make. Ugh, man. What the fuck am I drinking here? No, it's not coffee. It's like chai tea or something. It's pretty fucking good. Hey, Gravy, what are you doing? You're like licking my leg or something? Well, at least you're not biting it. What the fuck? What the fuck's all in my sock? At least you're not biting it or, or fucking scratching my leg. <clears throat> Looks like Gravy's going to be uh, joining us in a bit. So, I have a confession to make. And let me explain it. Um, let me explain what happened. Uh, <clears throat> so you all know about how I pulled a knife on my mom. Okay, that was, I don't, I don't regret doing it because, you know, let's be honest, I did, I pretty much did it in self-defense. <clears throat> okay, if I didn't do it, if I didn't pull a knife on my mom like that, I, uh, you know, my, my fucking PlayStation, where's my PlayStation controllers up there, you know, my PlayStation, my, 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 my fucking property would be destroyed. So I had to make a decision. Do I do I fucking pull the knife on her and make her fucking put down my shit so that I can pack up my shit and leave? Or do I just fucking let her go hog wild? You know, and what? Just fucking let her destroy shit because it's her house, you know? You know, it, it, it was a decision that had to be made. I don't regret making the decision. Um, because I feel that the, the, the decision that was made uh, was probably the best decision. Um, to be honest, I, I probably wouldn't have used the knife anyway. It was just a scare tactic. Um, it worked. She put down my shit. And that was that. She has hard feelings for it, so fuck, you know, fuck off, you know. But then, um, you know, a couple of weeks later, I told her that I was out dumpster diving. And I was cutting through a bag with my uh, knife. And... I went to go put the knife away, and I had it open. I had it out still, and I dropped it on the ground, and the the blade broke apart. I told her that that was a lie. And before you get on my case, but oh, you talk about your mom lying, but now you're lying. Let me explain something. I'm I'm lying. There's a purpose to my lies, okay. <clears throat> And I'm not trying to justify the lying, okay? All I'm saying is, when I lie, there's actually a, 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 a legitimate purpose to my lies. And that purpose uh, for that lie was because I wanted, I wanted to smooth things out. I wanted to make things better. And, you know, if, you know, it worked. It smoothed things out for a little bit. Okay, I told her that the knife broke and that I had to throw it out, and that was that. But the thing is, is that, the thing is, is that the knife didn't break. And I still have it right here. Um,. And the thing is, is that I promised myself, you know, 
I knew what I was doing. I knew that if I lied about it and said, you know, I don't have it anymore, okay? I knew that that would make things better with my parents. And it did for a, like a couple days. Until my rich uncle fucking became the town crier and fucking, uh, you know, blew me in for that video I made about the fucking tablet. Now, which is good actually. Mm. But, um, you know, I promised myself I wouldn't bring this knife around my parents anymore. And if my parents ever, my, my parents ever fucking, you know, let me back, I'm still not going to bring this around. You know, I, there's no need for me to. You know, so the knife stays here. If I go over to my parents' house, the knife doesn't come with me. You know, but I do keep it around. I do have it on me a lot of times. So, and it's a it's a safety thing. Plus, you know, you never know when something needs, like, cutting or something, you know. It's a good fucking knife, too, you know. It's a damn good knife. I, I actually originally bought this uh, for when I was working at that uh, Praxair place. They gave me a, they gave me a, because I had to, like, cut down boxes and shit there. They gave me, like, this little fucking razor blade thing that, that, like, fucking sucks, okay? It just fucking sucked. Okay, like, it was, like, rusty and dull. And, you know, if it slipped out of my hand and cut me, I'd probably have to get, like, fucking my arm chopped off. Okay, so I bought this. It's a little because it's because it's a bit cleaner. Okay, so I'm not I, I, the the knife's still here. Okay, that's that's the bottom line. Now I don't regret lying about that because I lied about this uh, about the knife breaking because I wanted. I wanted to make things better, okay? There's a difference between me lying, you know, to make a situation better, you know, by, you know, you know, if, if, if they don't know about it, then they can't be mad about it kind of thing, you know? And then lying by saying, oh, your rich uncle seen you at the fucking uh, Chinese buffet when he didn't even see me there. It's like, why would you lie about that? It's so fucking stupid. Lying to me about every little fucking thing. You know, I lie. I'm not saying I don't lie. I lie for a cause, okay? They lie because they get a kick out of lying, I guess. There's a difference. So, now that I got that out of the way, what could my parents do uh, for themselves that can make them better people? And uh, I thought about this. And uh, like, I, like I said, this, none of this is really my fault. Okay? None of it. None, none of it's my fault, really. Okay? It, it, it just think about this for a second. Everything that that's happened in these last few months is all my parents' fault, and I'll tell you why. One, it, like you could you could start it off by uh, when 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 my uh, you know when, when when I stole the pot, which was back in August, okay, early August, I guess it was. Which is, and let me, let me just say this. I stole the pot early August, and uh, they, they didn't find out that I stole it until maybe, uh, like, a, like, till maybe, like, mid-September, okay? 
So that's how much they go and for their pot, I guess. I don't know what happened, but for somehow, somehow my dad was rolling my mom joints, okay, and she was taking her sweet ass time smoking one joint, because she said, "Oh, look, I'm smoking a joint to get rid of my pain from my back," I guess. But it took her like it took her like a month and a half to smoke one joint. Now, because then, because then they, she ran out of that one joint. And then I guess my dad went to go get the other pot that I stole. And he's like, oh, what happened to my fucking pot? I was going to roll my my wife a joint. And it, it, he went to go roll the joint and it wasn't there, I guess. And that was like a month and a half later. I don't know. But here's, here's the thing. Here's what happened, okay? You know... The thing with the pot. Okay, so here's how it's my parents' fault. I I asked them if I if they had pot. They said no. I knew that was bullshit. Okay. I knew it was bullshit. Okay. So when I had the chance, I went upstairs and fucking took their pot on principle. Okay. Because they lied to me. They lied right to my face about that one. And so then that started off everything else. When they found out that that pot was missing, that's when all hell broke loose. Okay? So let me get this straight. You lied to me. I proved your lies wrong. And, and by the way, by the way, by the way, I honestly didn't didn't expect them to go out of their way and say, "Hey, Mike, did you steal our pot?" To be honest, you know, at at, at the time that that they, they 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 confronted me about it, I actually thought I got away with it. To be honest, or at least they were like, Ugh, "We better not even bring it up," you know. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it was brought up. Okay, I'm surprised it was brought up in the first place. <coughs> Cause how many how many uh, fathers have ever went up to their son and said, "Hey, son." Have you, did you steal my marijuana? Come on, that's classic, and you gotta admit that. Anybody, anybody, whose father would, would actually say something like that? Hey, did you steal my pot? <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's be honest here. That's one cool dad. Believe it or not, you know, most most uh, most parents, if they if they found, if they suspect their child of uh, doing something like that, hold on, that's off, that's on, on, and on. Okay, that's I think that's the slowest. It's kind of hot today. It is kind of hot today. It's like 70 degrees. And it's like February 24. Like seriously, it's like 70 degrees out today. You want me to prove it? I could. Uh, see, look. Look, look, look. look. Right there. You see that? 70 fucking degrees. In the middle of February. That's insane. Okay, I actually walked to the fucking tops today on Broadway. Shorts and no coat. That's how nice it was. And it's a little hot in here right now. 
after I'm after I'm done with this video, I'm probably gonna open up the windows for a little bit. Woofa. So uh so what what kind of fucking parents go up to their I can't think of any. You usually are like, uh my my son stole our pot. Do we confront him? Uh better not. We don't want him to feel that you know we do pot, you know, because isn't that kind of like a private thing, you know? I don't know. I guess times are a changing. It's weird, too, because my, my dad and my mom voted for the Trumpster who wants to make pot illegal, I guess. But anyway, um... So what was I saying? Oh yeah, so this whole thing pretty much started with the pot stealing. Back in uh, mid-September. This was actually after I uh, I went to Toronto on my own on the mega bus. Like, I did the pots probably, um, uh, probably like a month before the Toronto thing. And then I remember, I remember the the day that, the day that I, uh, they, they, they confronted me about it was the Guar concert, okay? And that was like, I went, I went to Toronto, it was September 10 uh, to September 11, okay, of 2016. And the Guar concert was like a week after that. So, it was like, I can't remember if it was a Saturday or a Sunday, but yeah, so they confronted me like almost a, a month and a half after I sold that shit, and I was fucking, I was like, wow, you really can't keep track of your shit, <laughs> you know? Plus, you gotta remember too, You like, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, you, 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 you caught me, or you didn't catch me, but you could, you, you found out that your pot was missing about a month and a half too late. I mean, could you think about that? Like, wouldn't that fucking pot be like all moldy oldy by then? Really? Like a month after? You know? So, what, what do you, does, doesn't pot, like, to, to get fucking nasty after a while? I don't know, but I'm guessing that pot fucking would have, if I didn't steal it, and he would have went to get some, it would have, like, fucking mold and shit on it. Ugh. That, that shit would have been, like, hard as a fucking rock, you know, you know, cause, cause I, I, I know if, I, I know that it, like if, if you have a pack of cigarettes, okay, and you don't smoke them for like, like a couple months, like they get, they get all fucking, uh, weird, like I don't smoke, but that's what I heard. Like, they get, like, fucking moldy and shit after a while. But, um, so, that's how that started, okay? I, it, they told a lie, okay? They're, and then I reacted to that lie. Okay? And now, fast forward, they, they forgot about the, or they forgave me about the pot and all that. I convinced them I didn't steal it. So then, a month later, about, uh, this is when my uh, power went out. Okay, now I was already on edge because the power went out. And I asked them if I could spend the night uh, because, because, you know, I needed my CPAP machine. I need electric. So let me, st let me spend the night and when when I spent the night, that's all I heard uh, was was fucking bickering, 
Okay, it was constant uh, on edge. You know, it was just them like just fucking insulting me the whole bit. It's like I don't want to fucking hear it. You know, just fucking accusing me of of being lazy and all this other shit. Come on, gravy. Come on, gravy. Come on. Here we go. Just them being, you know, belligerent and everything else. And then that makes me fucking nutty and the whole thing. And it was, it was chaos that night. Not to mention my dad threw my fucking tablet in the wash. You know, and it was just fucking chaos. So... I, I tried to keep my cool the whole night. I really did. Like, like I like it was it was really it was really a test for me that night. I was getting fucking anxious and everything else. I couldn't keep it together. Okay. So then, the next morning they're over there like fucking you know, talking down to me and everything else. And all I wanted was, I just wanted my fucking power turned on. You know, I just wanted to, this to go off without a hitch. You know, enough with this. I, I just wanted this, I just, I just wanted things to go right. That's all I ask for in life, is just things to just go right, okay? No fucking bullshit. No nothing. I just want things, not not to be not 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 to be completely perfect, but you know I just want things to be right. Okay, I want things, and not even like my way. I just want things, you know, to to, to be done right. So. I'm I'm a little cautious because I, I don't think my parents were doing uh, the job right or whatever. Because I I kind of remember the uh, electric company saying I had everything had to be on one page and everything. Nothing was on one page. And I just said, look, it has to be on one page. I don't know why I said that. I I, I think it was when I did this. Uh, a month before all this, or three months before all this, I think that when uh, when I did this, um, they told me that I had to be all on one page. I don't know. I don't really remember, but anyway, they, they just started insulting me and everything. I couldn't really take the insults. I couldn't take false accusations. I got loud with them, okay? They make false accusations. They they start talking down to me. I get loud. Then they start getting loud. And then my then I'm told to leave, so I go to leave. Okay, I start packing up my shit. So instead of just fucking letting me go and just letting me get my shit and so I can go. My mom had to throw shit around. Like that makes any sense. I think what she was trying to do was she was trying to throw all my shit into one place. Okay. So that I could just grab it and go. But seriously, throwing shit around because because you want you, you you want instant gratification is not gonna work. You don't throw shit around. You don't throw my shit around. I don't I don't care whose house it belongs to. You don't throw my shit around. Okay? So when my mom was starting to go for the tablet, I say, uh uh, put that down, put that down, mom. You know, I'm gonna throw this across the room. And as I know you're not gonna throw out the knife. Who made her put it down real fucking quick though? So let's see. 
They they talk down to me. They they start making false accusations. I get loud. They throw shit. I pull a knife. Okay, you see you see how everything starts at something that they did. You know, it's not it's no, it's not like it's not like my parents are saying where oh I was just sitting on the couch. Me, me and Mike were just sitting on the couch, and all of a sudden, where's my knife? I was just sitting on the couch, and all of a sudden, Mike goes, ooh, 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 you know, with the knife. It's not like that. Stop making shit up. See, my, my mom, my mom t tells everybody that that's what happened. Oh, I was just sitting on the couch. And all of a sudden, Mike walks up to me and goes, oh, like that. Uh. No. I did it for self-defense. Okay? Doesn't it doesn't it doesn't matter what the property is. I don't care if it was a piece of paper or a fucking three hundred dollar tablet or a hundred dollar PlayStation controller. It doesn't matter. It's it's still my property and I still won't have it thrown around. And I'm still not going to have something thrown around. I don't care whose house it is. Because you, you know, you know that if my mom came here and I just started throwing her shit around you know she would have done the same exact fucking thing. If it was it was at my house here and she came over and I just started like going through her purse and just started throwing her shit around my apartment. You know she would have done the exact same thing. You know that she would have done the exact same thing. Okay? So don't give me that. So, let's see here. Let's see here. My parents lied to me about having pot. I thought it was bullshit, so I stole their pot. And the logic was, is that, the logic, the logic behind that was, oh, well, you told me you didn't have pot, so that pot shouldn't even exist. So, you can't steal something that doesn't exist. You see what I'm saying here? So, right there, bullshit. Okay? The pulling the knife thing. They started talking down to me, making false accusations, making, ma make it, making insults toward me. I got loud, they got loud, they throw shit. And I have to protect my shit, so I pulled a knife on him. On my mom. Okay? That's, that's what happened. That's the gist of it. So, I'm over it. I'm, you know, now I'm like persona non grata with, with, with the family now. I'm like... I'm like the the undesirable of the family now. Oh, because I pulled a fucking nut. Cause I cause I fucking defended myself. Instead of my mom going on a fucking rampage and letting her go on a rampage, I defused the situation. Now everyone's all pissed off cause of that. Good, let them be fucking pissed off. You know? So, so then, you know, I told my mom that I didn't have the knife anymore. It broke. Okay. I told her what happened. I told her, oh, I told her I was in a dump or in a garbage can, cutting open some bag. And this knife, like I dropped it and it like landed like this. You see it like landed like right on the blade part. Like right on, like imagine I, it, it like lands on like, uh, like a fucking 
sidewalk or something. Which is actually true too, because I actually dropped this once uh, at work and it landed like on a concrete floor. And it was like, it, the, the room was kind of dark too. It was, it was awesome though. Because it was funny because it was like, I dropped it. I'll tell you a story too. This is where I got this story from. It's fucking awesome what happened. So I was at work, right? I was at uh, work doing, uh, at, at that Prax Air place. And I was, um, I was like cutting up boxes and I was in a room that had kind of like a hard, like concrete floor, okay? I was cutting up boxes and shit and I dropped my knife and it was out like this. But when I, when I, when I dropped it, it kind of dropped on the blade part, like dropped like straight down like that. And it hit, and, and it hit the tip of it, hit the fucking concrete floor. And it was kind of dark in there too. It wasn't like pitch dark, but it was, it was dark enough, you know? Uh, but when it hit the, it, when it hit the, uh, the concrete floor, it actually made a spark. I'm like, oh my god, that was fucking awesome what happened. Um, but you could tell where it hit, too, because on this knife, it, it looks like kind of like the tip, the very, very tip of the knife, uh, broke off. Like, if I, like, you could barely see it, though. Like, let, let me show you kitties what I mean. Because you can actually kind of see it. Like, look at the very, very tip uh, of the knife. It's, it's, it used to be very pointy. And then the tip of it just broke off. It, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah. See, that used to be like super fucking pointy. Now I can do this and it won't even hurt. And you can kind of tell if you're looking at it uh, in person here that it looks like it, just the tip, just the very fucking tip of it chipped off a little bit. I, I don't know if you could see that in a video, but yeah, when that happened, it made a fucking spark. And it was fucking awesome. But what I said, what I told my 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 mom was, yeah, it broke. It, I dropped it on the sidewalk, and this this part here, uh, this is just like a little screw. Th I don't know if it's a screw, but it's a little thing that that kind of like swings around. Cause my my dad doesn't know how didn't. My dad's stupid. He doesn't know how to how to uh, how to uh, get the blade out. It's like this. Let me let me show you again. I'll show it to you in slow motion. So here here it is with the blade in. Okay. Now where is it? As you can see right there. You can see the blade is like right there, okay? You see that's the blade, and you can kind of push it down like that. So here's how you get it to, to pop open. So you see this part here? Oh, can you see that? There's this part like this part here. So it's like this. You have to hold it in a certain way so that the so that my hand doesn't block the blade coming out because if you hold it like this you can never get it out because the blade your hands hold like blocking the blade so you pretty much go like this you gotta hold it like like that somehow okay now you take your your little finger here and you see this part, it's, you just press down on it like that and it kind of pops out. I'll show it to you in slow motion too. So watch, I'll do it like real soft. You see how, you see how the blade, oh, 
once it gets past a per certain point, it kind of just flies out like that. So watch again. Watch. Oh. So you can actually. Oh, hold on. My dad didn't know how to do this, so now I got to dump. It, it just, it, it takes a little getting used to. And then to put it back in, there's this thing here. This thing, once the thing's out like this, hold on, my hand was blocking it. This. Watch again. You see when I, when I push down on that, there we go. You gotta push down on it hard. So then to put it back in, you press this thing, where is it? This thing here, you just kind of press it into the side, okay, and then you use your other hand, or you can use something else. Like you could just, I wouldn't recommend doing it like that though, like with force like that, because it might come around and cut your thumb, but you just do it like that, and then, Use your other hand, cause this this part of the knife is kind of dull, so you can do that all you want. This is a sharp part, so you gotta kind of push it down like that. And once it starts going, like you could just keep it like that, but and you just you just go like that. So it's cool, just go like this, you know, like real fast, like you just like you just. Let it go like a fucking pimp, you know. But so then what happened was I told him my knife broke, blah blah blah. They started to let me back over. Okay. Christmas time. They gave me a fucking tablet for Christmas. Now this is an insult. Because they did that because they broke the original. But then again, they're using, they're just saying, okay, we don't have to get him a Christmas gift because we owe him, you know, this tablet anyway. So we'll just make it like a, like a Christmas gift anyway. So I thought that was kind of an insult, you know. So I made a video about it. Okay, a couple days go by. And I was at my parents' house. And my rich uncle calls. And he tells my mom about the video I made. And they go ape shit. And then that's what started up again. You know. My so let's 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 recap. My, my, my dad breaks my tablet. My mom does a half-hearted attempt to replace it. She replaced it, but she said it was my Christmas gift, which is a complete insult, okay? Uh, man, it's like, and then I make a video, and they're pissed off because because I said something about it. So let's see, if my parents never fucking insulted me by giving me a replacement for Christmas. Now, here's the thing. I, I wanted them to replace the tablet. Okay. But I also wanted something else for Christmas, too. I didn't, it's like you're, it's like, that's just, that's, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that if they see the last video, they'd be fucking, fucking screaming and yelling because I said, oh, I'll replace their pot for Christmas. And they'd be fucking pissed. You know? But, you know, it's okay when they do it. It's not okay when I do it, right? And really, I mean, what I'm trying to get at here is that 
is that everything happened because they started something. Okay? At the, none of, do you think I would ever fucking pull a knife on my mom? Had my mom and just said, Hey, Mike, you could spend the night. And there'd be no fucking insults or anything like that. Like, forget that my dad, uh, you know, washed, washed my tablet on accident. It was an accident. He didn't mean to do it. I get it. I still think it should have been replaced, but, you know, I was willing to put it, put it aside for right there. And to be honest, I wasn't really upset about the tablet. I just wanted my, I just wanted my, uh, my power back on. I just wanted everything. I just, I just want things to go smooth. Okay. Do you really think that I would have gotten the way I got, had gotten, if my, my parents weren't sitting there, you know, making fucking comments like, you're so fucking lazy, it should have been done three months, you know, I, no, I wouldn't have, because it wouldn't have gotten to that point, because it wouldn't have, I, there would be no reason for me to start yelling, you know. There would be no reason for me to get loud. Then there would be no reason for them to... To, to fucking... Uh, start throwing shit. And... Uh, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like... If, if my parents were to just... Say... Yeah, we have pot. But you're not going to get it. Okay? Do you really think I would have stole the pot after it? No. No, I, I wouldn't have. I, I did it. I did it because they lied to me. You know, that's what you get fucking lying to me. You know, because think about think about it for a second here. Think about it. Sometimes I steal shit because I feel like they don't know that they have it. Okay, sometimes my mom you know, hides money somewhere and forgets about it. It's happened. There's been times where I stole almost four hundred dollars from her. And she never fucking she never fucking said a word. I stole ten dollars from her. She she starts going off the hook. You know, and I think it's because sometimes she hides money and just forgets about it. And then I end up finding it and it's like like a free for all. So When, when I asked them if they had pot, they said no. I had a feeling it was bullshit, okay? Now, when I took the pot, okay, I had a big feeling. I had a big feeling that they didn't know that they even had it, okay? Because it kind of took them like a month and a half to figure it out anyway. So, there you go. Now, the whole point is, don't lie to me. Don't, don't, you know, don't do shit that'll piss me off. Okay? Because you know how that works out. It just makes me bitter, and it makes me do videos like this. You know, my rich uncle. Okay, same thing with him. Everything that's happened with my rich uncle, because of him. Okay? Now, I got into a I got into a fight uh, around around the time Clint was starting his bullshit with me. Okay, this was before I was arrested though, but this was like right after I was banned from everywhere. I I was talking to my rich uncle. Okay, I was on speaking terms with him, and. And um, I, I made it a point not to tell him uh, what happened. I, I made it a point. I, made, I didn't mean, mention it to him. Because I, I knew that if I told him, he would go off the fucking hook. Okay? And I didn't tell him. But 
um, my, my drunk uncle, because I had to tell my drunk uncle, because me and him were on speaking terms as well at the point. And I had to tell him, because me and him would go to these shows sometimes. So I kind of had to tell him that, you know, we can't go to many more shows. I forgot to tell him not to tell my rich uncle. That's my fault. So my rich uncle finds out. He calls me and says, Oh, you know, your uncle told me what happened with these shows. I'm like, oh, no. Because I know he was going to go off the fucking wall. I was like, oh, no. Now what? He's like, and he starts, and like I said, I knew he was going to go off the fucking deep end. And he did. And I just hung up on him. I hung up on my rich uncle. And I said, I'm not talking about this. And he made everything out to be that I wouldn't talk to him because he touched my plume. He, my rich uncle touched my, my hair or something. Like, that's not even why that happened. It happened because I don't want to hear about how much of a fuck-up I am, okay? I don't want to be fucking told that I should be beating up Clint or whatever. I don't want to have to hear about uh, how my generation this and my generation that. You know, I don't want to fucking hear it. Okay? So I stopped talking to him. I don't want to hear it. Okay? Because... My rich uncle, here's my rich uncle saying, like I said, he's like the Donald Trump of the family. So everything he says has to be some kind of egotistical uh, remark. And it's, my rich uncle has to be like this fucking alpha male bullshit. Where he has to be all fucking tough about everything. And he's so fucking tough. What's he do? Beats up fucking midgets. Beats up fucking drug addicts. They're so fucked up that they can't even defend themselves. They don't even know what day of the week it is. You know? My fucking uncle's legacy. Beating up midgets. And then, and he, and then he tries to be the fucking alpha male. When my rich uncle is nothing but the beta male here. I don't even consider myself the alpha male of the family, okay? No one's a fucking alpha male of the family here. Everyone are fucking betas. And I'm pretty sure my fucking rich uncle is the fucking omega, okay? So, it's... <sighs> so... Like, I can't take this anymore. Stop talking to him. And it's all because he wanted to run his fucking mouth. So I stopped talking to him. Eventually, I, I made up with him for a little bit. And, you know, I, I stopped talking to him again. Why? Because he, he, was, he was saying shit like, Oh, you made up that sign that was at the corner. You know, you made that up, you made that up, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't, I can't take, I can't take, uh, personal. Oh, shit. I think I ate too much. I didn't even eat that much, really. But I feel like I'm fucking stuffed. It's like I didn't even eat that much. Like what, I just made some tater tots about an hour ago. And I feel like I just ate like 10 buffets. I've been drinking water though, and I drink that chai or whatever. But man, it feels like I'm just fucking... I just ate like 10 buffets for some reason. That's all I ate today, we were fucking... I had a pan... I, I like made a pan of, of fucking uh, tater tots. And usually I can power those down. No problem. I don't get it. 
And I, f I feel I feel like I just ate like ten buffets. But uh, so my uncle's like he acts like he's like the alpha male. But he's not even the beta male. He's like the omega male in the family. And it's like, uh, really? Really? You really think that you're the fucking alpha male in the family? Like, I consider myself at least a beta male. But my uncle over there is like a fucking omega male. So, what? Like, I don't even know who the fuck the, the alpha male would be in the family. I don't know. <sighs> like, no one, really. Some people think it's, it's, it's my, uh, the king of the cops, but I'm like, uh, no, he, 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 I mean, he's a cop, but he's like, he's more like a, like a, like a beta, I don't know, but he just likes to take, he just likes his picture taken, I guess. But anyway, uh, and, and I'm not trying to insult him, I have nothing against him. I mean, it's, you know, he's a good guy, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not there to insult at him. It's not even because I'm afraid of getting arrested. It's just I have nothing against the king and a cop. So it's like... So... I'm just tired of this, this alpha male bullshit. Macho man, you know, gotta be gotta be the elite. Gotta be the fucking... Um, what do you call it? He, he, he's like the fucking... Everything has to be settled with a fight, you know, because that's what my generation used to do. You got a problem with someone, you punch him in the face. That, that's the kind of alpha male attitude that my rich uncle has. You know, oh, fucking midget. Stab me in the fucking the leg with a, with a skeleton key. So what I do, I beat up a midget. Like, that makes you fucking tough. Oh, but I also beat up your drunk uncle. Because he was all on, on drugs at the time. He was like sniffing glue or something. Oh, great. So, you got to... You, your big claim to fame was that you, you beat up a midget. You, you, you fucking punched my drunk uncle in the face. Because he was so fucking drugged up. He doesn't know a day to wake. You know, he's half asleep. And that's your big thing? My mom the same way. My mom's no fucking alpha woman over there. What, what, what's, what's her fucking claim to fame? She... I, I think I told this before. It's fucking hilarious, but it's sad at the same time. Her big claim to fame is so she says. Because you know my mom is known to lie, too. Okay? Her big claim to fame is that in high school, she used to beat up Johnny Resnick of the Goo Goo Dolls. Go, go fucking Google fucking Johnny Rezesnik. It's like Johnny and then R Z E Z. N-I-K or something like that. It said Resnick, but it looks like it says Rezesnik. Like Rezesnor. Trent Rezesnor. Trent Reznor. Like Trent... Like Johnny Rezesnik. I don't know. Go look at... Look, look him up and, he, and tell him that he doesn't look like half a fag. Okay? My mom is being a fucking fucking gay boys over there. And this is another thing. She claims she's, she's tolerant of gays. She's fucking beating up fucking Johnny Resnick. Who looks as gay as they come. Okay, I don't know if he's gay. But you know what? You, you, you know? 
I don't know, but that's that's her claim to fame, and that makes her tough, I guess. Tough as fucking nails, you know. You know, and it, it the whole thing makes no sense. Like, oh, let me just explain something here. That whole story about her beating up Johnny Resnick, now that I think about it, makes no goddamn fucking sense. Okay, so they went to school together, big deal. But if, if, okay, if my mom was beating up Johnny Resnick in high school, okay, and why is my fucking drunk uncle, like, friends with him? Like, doesn't Johnny Resnick know that uh, his sister beat him up in high school? Like, it makes no fucking sense. If 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 I was Johnny Resnick, I'd stay the fuck away. I I would be I would be fucking banning her from shows. I would be banning you know I, you don't want fucking trouble. It's like I'm not gonna be friends with fucking Tom Trelore, uh, knowing what his sister did. You know what I'm saying? Like that makes absolutely no fucking sense. It was the same last name. So there's really no excuse. You know, what the fuck, you know? Now, now that I'm thinking about it, it makes no sense. Like if I was something that somebody that I beat up in high school, you really think they'd be fucking happy to see me? Probably not. I mean, we grew up. You know, I mean, we... I don't know. I mean, we, we grew the fuck up. So, you know, we're different people now. It's like this, like like a baloney arm. You know, and you could, you could say what you want about him. What I did was fucking shitty against baloney arm. But it, it would make no sense if... You know, baloney arm doesn't want to talk to me, but, you know, he'll go and fucking, like, talk to, like, one of my, like, my mom or something. That makes no fucking sense. Y you know, and... I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's just more bullshit that makes no sense to me. And, uh... So, what else? So what else are we, uh, so, I want to talk about how my parents can be better people. Because like I just established, none of this is really my fault, okay? I mean, I reacted uh, ways that they didn't like me to react, but I reacted because of shit that they did, you know? So, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, I believe, I personally believe that, I personally believe that I should, I don't have to get on their good side anymore. They have to get on my good side. They're the ones that have to beg for my forgiveness. And I'm going to tell you how. Okay, I'm going to tell you how, just, if my parents are watching this, just, just fucking hear me out. If my rich uncle's hearing this, fucking hear me out. Okay, let's, let's stop, let's stop all the fucking drama, you know, let's stop the macho man attitude. Let's stop the alpha male bullshit. Okay, and let's just talk about this like, like adults here. Okay, first and foremost, I'll start with my mom. My mom needs to stop the lying, okay? When she stops the lying, a lot of this bullshit will end. No more lies, most of the bullshit will end. That's the bottom line, because I hate when people lie to me. I hate fucking broken promises. I hate fucking reneging on everything. So stop. If you can't, if you can't, if you can't fulfill a promise, then don't promise anything. 
I don't promise anything, you know? I've learned that a long time ago when I was dating Amy. You know, though I remember there was one time where me and uh, I, I, I promised to go somewhere with her, and this was like a couple weeks in advance. I forget what it was. But I ended up having to work that day. And she got mad. I said, listen, I had to fucking work. I have to fucking work. I'm sorry, you know. She's like, but you promised you you know. I'm like, I'm I'm really sorry, you I gotta fucking work, you know. It, it was it, and you know, she was pissed off and everything at me, but we made up and whatever. It was what it was. I hate when people break promises on me. Okay? And after that point, I promised to myself that I would not make more promises toward anyone. So what I would say was, like, if my if, if Amy wanted to, uh, me to go somewhere with her, I'm like, I'll go if I don't have work or something like that. Because I'm not going to take the day off just so I... Just so I can go to a, like, I think it was like some bandits game or something. It was some bullshit that she wanted to go to. But I had to work that, that day. So I can't promise shit if, if I have to work. You know. So, promising shit, it's got to stop, okay? If... Here's the thing. If you want to sit there, here's the thing. If you want to sit there and surprise me and say, hey, you want to go to Disney World? You know, or you want to go to fucking Florida? You know, we'll go. Here's the tickets. I bought you fucking plane tickets. You know, just let me know if you have to look, change your plans if, the, if this day isn't good. You know, whatever. I don't know how planes work. But, you know. None of this bullshit where, oh, I promise I'm going to take you to Florida, but, you know, you got to find a, you know, but if I can't get a fucking, you know, if I can't get a fucking day off, then I can't get a fucking day off. But, you know what, it, 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 it makes no fucking sense, you know. So no problem, no more fucking promises, no more lying. The the if if you can't make the fucking promises work, at least fucking make the no lying thing work uh, happen. No lying, because I I understand, I understand, you know, that sometimes promises have to be broken, because you know shit happens. I get it. I understand. I get it. One hundred percent. I get it. But there's no reason that I should be lied to at all. There is no reason for it. And yeah, I know I lied about the fucking knife. I don't care. Okay? But there's no, there's no reason that you have to go around and say, Oh, your, your uncle's seen you at the Chinese buffet. And that brings me to another point that I'm going to get to later. Or, you know, you know, just anything that, that, that's a lie. It's just, I walk into your house and I find, I find these fucking Batman toys on your fucking kitchen counter. And, and you say, oh, I got these out of a garage sale. No, you fucking didn't. You got these from fucking Mark's Attic. I seen you pull them out of Mark's Attic. And you said that you're, and, and you know why it is? Because... Oh, I was going to split the difference. I was going to split the fucking, uh, the, the profit from it for, for you. When I put it on eBay, I'm going to split the, the profit with you. And then she just decided, oh, no, I'll just keep it. So I'll say I got them at a garage sale. And, and the lie is so fucking stupid. It's like I can see right through it. You know, I I just can't take that shit anymore. My dad, okay, if you want to be a good person, mom, you need to 
you know, the, the, the promises thing, you know, it is what it is. And I get it if you have to cancel fucking shit because shit comes up. Okay, I understand. I get it. But the lies, the lies have got to stop. This is out of control. This is completely out of fucking control. And I don't care if they're like little fucking lies. I know when you're fucking lying, you know? I know when you're fucking lying. Like, like what was it the one day? I think it was the one day I came in and I just fell on ice. And I busted my lip open. Which, by the way, my lip is completely healed. But, but, there's that but word everybody hates. But, my lip is healed. But, for some reason, they're like, they're, it's on the inside of my lip. Okay, I could feel it with my finger. There's like a bump. And it's kind of like inside my lip. It doesn't hurt. I can, and it's, it doesn't hurt, and it's not really, it, it, it doesn't really bother me, but, you know, I can feel it with my tongue, or I can feel it with my, uh, finger. It's been there since, since I busted my lip open. But the lip itself is healed. It feels fine. Um, so... What was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah. I came in the uh, the one day, and I know I know this is gonna be really fucking stupid, but but you know I'm just I, that's gonna be the new word now. But and I, you gotta say it like that. But because my rich uncle hates that fucking word for some reason. It's like using the N word to a black person for him. But. You know, <laughs> stop being, I, I'm going to be a butthead from now on. You know what I'm saying? So I, I walked into my parents' house the one day. And this was a day that, it was, it was like right before Christmas. And I slipped on the ice. And I busted my fucking lip open. I fell right on my fucking face. I like fucked up my tooth and everything. By the way, my tooth's fine now. But I fell face first on the on the fucking uh thing there on the fucking sidewalk. Bust my fucking lip open. I was like fuck I was like spitting blood all over the uh all over the place. Like there was like blood in the snow. And blood all over the, the ice and shit. It was, it was fucking, it, it fucking, yeah. It was bad. So I walked in there, and I'm gushing blood from my fucking lip and everything. And, uh, like I'm spitting blood into their toilet. So then, I said, I wonder, I, I told my, I asked my mom, I wonder how how it is in Toronto if they have all this ice and shit. And you know what my mom said? My mom said, oh, it's fine in Toronto because they have they have heated sidewalks there. So it just melts all the ice anyway. And I'm like, really? I didn't know that. So I asked my friend who lives in Toronto. You know what she said? Toronto doesn't have heated sidewalks. So right there, my mom lied again. And again, it was a stupid lie. Like, why would she say something like that? Why would she say something stupid like that? Why would she sit there and say, Toronto has heated sidewalks? When, hello, I, I asked somebody that lives in Toronto... If they have heated sidewalks, and she says, no, they don't have heated sidewalks. Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Like, fucking argue with, with my friend here? You really? You, you, you're really going to go there? I mean, Toronto does have that, that fucking underground thing. 
the path or whatever it's called. But that's not the same thing as a heated sidewalk. Okay? The only thing, the only heated sidewalk I know of in Buffalo is, okay, so you know, I don't know if you kiddies know the, the uh, downtown Buffalo, but downtown Buffalo has the big, uh, big, you know, central library. And there's, uh, what, it, what, it, what street is that? I can't even think of the name of the street now. Uh, I think it's Washington Street, uh, downtown Buffalo. The Washington Street entrance, you have to like walk up this ramp thing. That's all heated. Okay? So that's all heated. But, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I don't know why my mom has to fucking lie all the time. That's the, that, that pit, that, that really drives me fucking batty. You, you can't lie about something like that will actually, you know, help you. You have to lie about the stupidest shit. My God, like, my God, I, I can't even take this anymore. With the fucking line. It drives me absolutely bonkers. So my mom, in order to be a better person, she needs to quit the line. Okay? My dad, in order for him to be a better person, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about the hebophilia shit. Okay? That is you know, that's him. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, as long as it doesn't come to actual action, like, as long as my dad is just sticking to this, the fucking Disney Channel or, what was it, Nickelodeon or whatever, it's fine with me. I don't really care. You know, I don't even care if he was straight up a pedophile and he was like, looking at, like, little girls on TV, like, fucking like, four-year-old girls and shit, saying, that's a hot little girl, or something. You know, because I get it. I get it with, at least with the with the teenage girls, you know? Some of them look like they're fucking 20. I, I fucking get it. You know, because, you know, I'm guilty of it, too. Okay, it's not like I I never like tried to like hook up with, with a uh, a fucking uh, fourteen year old girl, but but you know you know how they are today. You know they're look they're looking like fucking hookers now. You know, I'm a fucking fifteen year old girl running around in, like fucker fucking hooker clothes. You know, so. You know, they, they walk by, take a fucking quick peek behind you. Ooh. Nice, but she's, four, she's 14. I waited on her four years. You know, I never tried to hook up with them. I get it. That's why they call them jailbait. But there's no mistake in that a four-year-old girl looks 18 years old. You know, you can't, you can't mistake that. A four-year-old girl looks like a fucking four-year-old girl. You know? It's these 15, 14, 15, 16-year-olds. You know, they can pass for maybe uh, 18, 19, 20 sometimes. No problem. That That's how they get you. I mean, they're not doing it on purpose, but you know what I mean. I'm not denying that. I understand my dad in that situation. You know, I probably, you know, I don't know, but I'm not saying, I'm not, hey, I'm not defending them. Okay, but I understand. I'm not saying that what he does is right, and I'm not saying what I do is right. But I understand. Okay? I just, I just do. Okay? So I'm not going to fucking fault him for it. If he starts going... If he starts doing shit in person, like if he ends up on one of these fucking, uh, what do you call it, uh, Chris Hansen shows, then I'll be fucked. Then, 
then, then I'll be fucking pissed off at him. Actually, I'd fucking laugh at him, okay? <laughs> so, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably laugh his, my ass off if I see him on fucking Predator or something. But, um, I mean, if he's looking at, like, 14-year-old girls naked and shit, that, that's a problem, you know? Because, like I said, it, 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 it becomes a problem when you start... When you start acting on those impulses, you know, it's like it's like it's like doing drugs, you know. Like there's people out there, there's people out there that can like do do fucking they they can like smoke weed once in a while, and then they go on about their day, you know. And then there's these people that that just do nothing but fucking smoke weed all day, and you know it's like. It's like constant, it's like, well, fuck, what the fuck, just, it's like you never know what sober feels like anymore, you know, you're just fucking high as a kite all your fucking life, I can never, I can never, like, I can never be a fucking drug addict, you know, like, I tried, I tried pot once, okay, and it was like, I, I just don't see how people can do that all the fucking time, you know? I can see people, I can see if people can do it, like, once in a while or something. But there's people that, like, do that shit, and then they go to work. Or they'll, they'll do that shit, and they start driving and shit. It's like, I, I can't even function, you know? I mean, it's okay, it's okay to do that. Do it's okay to like do a weed or something once in a while, and just fucking stay in your house and like listen to music or something. That's fine. But these people, these are there's some people out there that'll get fucking high and then they'll just like go to work. Like they'll go, they'll get fucking blazed off their ass and then go to fucking work high as a fucking kite. And I'm like, how the fuck do you make it through the day like that? It's like going to, it's like going to fucking work, like, hammer. You know? Like, you know what I'm saying, though? I'm getting way off topic here. But forget about the hebophilia shit, okay? Like I said, hebophilia is when you're attracted to 13... Uh, the seventeen-year-old girls, okay. Pedophilia is anything uh, twelve and under. And then there's another category, which uh, my dad could be a part of too. Uh, like I said, like I said before, uh, this these shows featured actresses at that range from what was it? I think it was like fourteen to nineteen years old. I can't even remember it. I can't even like, you know. I don't know what what girl he was talking about, but it was one of those fucking shows he was watching. So I looked up the the ages of these girls in the show. Four, depending on the season, fourteen to nineteen years old. Both shows, I Carly and Hannah Montana, both of them, fourteen to nineteen years old. So, depending on uh, when when we were watching the show, or what episode we were watching, you know, we could have got we could have got one of those actresses when they were sixteen, and he said that. Well, that's hebophilia right there. There's another. There's another. Um, there's another uh, condition too. I I don't know how to pronounce it though. It's like ephebophilia and pretty much pretty much what that is it's sexual attraction to 18 to 19 year old uh, people. Pretty much it's legal, but I don't know why they would I, I don't understand why they would put that in a separate category. 
You know, like, it's fucking legal. Once you turn 18, you're open for business. So, ephebophilia, not to be confused with hemophilia, which is, which isn't even a sexual thing, it's just, uh, it's a disease where your blood don't, doesn't clot or something. Hemophilia, hemophiliac, I don't know. I don't know why you would call it something like that, but like a sexual attraction to like blood or something, but that's not even what it means. Um, but it's like, oh, but let, let's just forget about that for a second. Here's how he can, because it doesn't really bother me too much. Yeah, that doesn't really bother me, what he said. I just started making it a big stink because he told he told me that the reason he tells my, my, un my rich uncle every time I steal is because my rich uncle has money in the house and he needs to be warned. Because, like, you know, my rich uncle has a bunch of fucking money in the house because he's fucking rich. So he needs to be told every time I steal. So that was my dad's logic for that. So then I was just like, well, then I guess my Aunt Sandy needs to be warned every time, you know, every, you know, that you do this fucking shit because she has little, little fucking kids running around that house. You know, that's all I meant. That's all I said. You know, I just, I just said that really to be a punk. But it is true, and it, you know, it doesn't bother me. As long as it doesn't go into real life shit, you know, it doesn't bother me. Okay? But, um, but, here's how my dad can really, uh, improve relations with me first off you need to you, you need to fucking stop with the fucking uh, schizophrenia shit okay you need to stop with that seriously you just need to fucking stop with the schizophrenia bullshit there is no you're, you're you know if you want if you want me to go to a psychiatrist it's fine it's fine I told you this before, you make the fucking, you find a psychiatrist, okay, you, you find a psychiatrist, and I'm, I'm telling you to find a psychiatrist, find the psychiatrist, because when, if you find a psychiatrist, I'll go, okay, but I, but, you know, if I, if, if, if I find a psychiatrist on my own, I know I'm going to be accused of, you know, getting like the one that, you know, the, the, the shitty one or whatever. That way, if I tell you to find a psychiatrist, that way everything falls on you, okay? Because I know what's going to happen. I'll go into the thing, I'll answer the questions truthfully. And uh, psychiatrist is going to say he doesn't have schizophrenia. And my dad will be like, what, what, what? You know, it's, why did he have schizophrenia? Why? Why does he have schizophrenia? Because I fucking don't. That's why. <laughs> why doesn't he have it? Why doesn't he have it? Because I fucking don't. I was like, there you psychiatrist is useless. That way, you know, if if I were to, if he if he were to the find the psychiatrist on his own, okay. If he if I'll be, it's like I'm going to like his psychiatrist. You know, I'm going to the one that he chooses, not anyone else. Him, okay. He's choosing the psychiatrist here. 
So there is no excuse. There's no fucking excuse here. You know, there's there's no accusing me of pulling the wool over somebody's eyes. That way when when that way when I don't get diagnosed with what he wants me to get diagnosed with. By the way, what is this bullshit anyway? Where what is this bullshit where you know I'm going to get you to a psychiatrist so they can diagnose you uh, with schizophrenia or something. What is this bullshit? Like, why can't you just accept that I don't have it? Like, what would happen if I went to a psychiatrist and they said, you don't have schizophrenia? Uh, is that, psych that psychiatrist would be useless. What is, this, what is this bullshit where you could just tell somebody that you know, I want him diagnosed with something. You know, what is this bullshit? It's like, if that's the case, I want, I want, I, I, you know, if that's the case, I want fucking Barf to be diagnosed with fucking cancer. Like, what is this bullshit? Like, you just can't, it makes no sense. Like, why is this, why is this happening? How the fuck do you just tell... My dad's gonna go in here. I said I want him diagnosed with schizophrenia, and and you know psychiatrists gonna be like, okay, you have schizophrenia, Mike. What the fuck kind of shit is that? That's not psychiatry. What if I just go into a psychiatrist and say I want I want to be diagnosed with fucking uh I don't know I don't know but mental retardation or I don't know. And you're like, okay, Mike, you're mentally retarded. Congratulations. You know, like, what the fuck? And then my dad's over there like, oh, we're going to get you the help that you need. No, you're not going to get me the help that I need. No, you're going to get me the help that you need. Like I said, there's a difference between getting me the help that I, I need... And the help that you want. You know? If you're going in there and you're going to make a big stink. Uh, if I go into the psychiatrist and they said, oh, he doesn't have schizophrenia. All right, are you, you're going to make a big stink about it. You know? And you're not going to accept the results. You're not going to accept the results of what, what happens. And it's like, I'm not getting the help that I need. You're just trying to find a psychiatrist that'll be dumb enough to, you know... Is it, does this make any sense to anybody? It's like, you can't just, you can't just, you know... That's, a, that's like me saying, okay, so... I don't, I don't believe in type 2 diabetes. Okay? But I understand that it's it is diagnosed, okay? So let's say a doctor diagnoses me, oh Mike, you got type two diabetes. I'm like, okay, I want to get a second opinion. So then you go to another doctor. Mike, you got type two diabetes. And then you just keep getting like second opinions and third opinions, fourth opinions. Eventually You'll get, like, the shittiest fucking doctor out that will say, you don't have type 2 diabetes. I think that's what my dad's trying to go for here. He's just going to try to keep taking me to psychiatrist after psychiatrist after psychiatrist until he gets to the fucking barrel, bottom of the barrel, psychiatrist that's just like, yeah, he has fucking schizophrenia. You know, it'll take me like six different psychiatrists, you know, to do it. And then it's like, okay, Mike, you got fucking schizophrenia. And I'm going to hang that over my head like like a fucking death sentence. You know, but that, that's not how it works. You know? I'll be willing to do two psychiatrists. 
That way, you get your first opinion. Then you can find me as somebody that could give me a second opinion. I'm willing to do that. But I'm not going to keep going. I'm not going to keep fucking psychiatrist hopping. Just so that he can get his little diagnosis. Because that's not, that's not getting me the help that I need. That's, get, that's, getting, that's getting me the help that he wants. He wants me to have schizophrenia. So, it's either... It's a, this is a direct message that... Dad... Either find me a psychiatrist... Or stop talking your fucking shit. Okay? You you want no, you want you wanna fucking you you wanna fucking prove me wrong? Let's let's prove me wrong then. Let's get a let's get a fucking licensed clinical psychiatrist to diagnose me with schizophrenia here. Instead of just my dad saying, you have schizophrenia. You need help. You need meds. Like, what is this? You need meds. You need meds. Really? I need meds. Okay. You need the fucking schizophrenia meds. Like, okay. I, you know what, though? You know what? If you remember, my dad's mother, okay? Didn't believe in fucking, uh, you know, those kind of meds. She didn't believe in them. If my... Oh, you you want to be fucking pissed off at me even more? Listen, Dad. If, if your mother was still alive today, she would be furious with you. There you go. My grandmother, your mother, didn't believe, uh, didn't believe in those kind of meds. She didn't believe in Ritalin or, you know, whatever, whatever weird meds they had. They have now. She wouldn't, she doesn't believe in them. I remember her saying that too. Okay. So you you telling me that I need meds is a fucking insult to your own mother. Okay? It's a fuck it's a fucking slap in the face. She would be pissed. She would disown her son probably. And no, I'm not talking about uh, mom's mom, who my mom claims that she's, like, mentally ill. Everyone's mentally ill now. You know, ever knows that? Everybody's fucking mentally ill. My grandmother, like, what the fuck did she do that's mentally ill? You know, everybody's fucking mentally ill nowadays. You know, but anyway, I'm talking about your mother, Dad. Uh... You know, uh, Grandma Marianne. That was her name. Uh, she actually lived next door. Where? This is the front of the house. So it was that house over there. A big empty lot. With all the cars in it. Uh, the thing is, is that that house next door, there used to be a house on that thing. My grandmother lived in that house. After she died, it got knocked down. No, big empty lot. I don't know what the guy next door does over there, but there's a bunch of cars in that in that lot there. It's a big, a big yard, and I think there's like a trailer or something. I don't know, the guy lives in the trailer. I, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, your mother would be furious to know what you're saying here. Okay? So don't be saying it. Okay? 
Now, I also remember there was one time when you had this handheld uh, game, okay? It was like this little ass poker game that you would sit there and just play with. You just like fiddle with it, you know? It was like this little handheld fucking thing. I get it. It's like addictive. You know, it's like, it's just something that you, you, you play with, with your hand or something. And it just, it's like a little electronic poker game, I think it was. And I get it. It's, it's fucking, it's a fucking stress reliever, I guess. I mean, I guess it's better than actually gambling. Because then you lose money. I mean, that's all you gotta do is just, just sit there for hours and fucking do that. I get it. It's like gambling, but not really. Okay. Okay, so you were doing that. I remember the one time you told me about this. You were playing your little poker game. On it's It was like a... Like a remember those Tiger Electronic Hell, the handheld games? It was like that, but it was like... It was like, it was just poker. It wasn't Tiger, though, I don't think. It was just a fucking poker game. That it, it was like a, like a game, not even a Game Boy. It was like the same technology as like a calculator, but it was a fucking handheld, the fucking poker game. And my dad would just play, like, constantly, like a fucking mental patient. And he'd be sitting there, like, looking at it. While the TV was going or something, he just fucking play it. Okay. And I guess, I guess it was fun for him. I don't know. I guess it was like a stress reliever for him. But uh, I guess I guess the one time he uh, he told he said something about the one time he uh, what was it? The one time he was doing that. He was doing the thing there, and, uh, and he won, like, a royal flush, and somehow he says, like, Grandma's looking down on me. She's the reason I got that royal flush. Okay, which is funny, too, because if my, if, if, if his mother's looking down on him, giving him a royal flush on his fucking poker, fake-ass poker game, <clears throat> Don't you think he's look? She's looking down on you, telling me that I need fucking psychiatry and that I need schizophrenic meds. Okay, like she's looking down on you, look and saying I'm giving you fucking uh, royal flushes, flushes on a fucking fake poker game. But she, she's not. She's like completely oblivious to you saying, "You need fucking, you need fucking psychiatry, boy, and you need those fucking schizophrenic meds, boy." <laughs> you know, religion is a weird thing. It's like it's like you know. That's why I don't believe in God. Because it's like, it's like if he's looking down on us doing it, doing good shit and blessing us and all that other shit, then he must be, he must be looking down on us and, and doing bad shit, you know, if, you know, if, if God can sit there and, you know, and, and do all the good shit, then he, 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 then, and he can't even, like, prevent something bad from happening. Then you know that you know that the, it's all fucked up. It's a, it's all bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's like God couldn't stop 9/11. It happened. God couldn't stop these fucking uh, school shootings. It happened. Oh, but make sure make sure God blesses your fucking food every day. And you wonder why I'm the way I am. You wonder why I'm an atheist. I think, I think it's just bullshit. I think it's all bullshit to me. I believe that you're the master of your own destiny. I believe that whatever you do is your own fucking fault. You know, whatever whatever happens, you did. I don't... 
Like, I don't believe any of this bullshit where, like, you know, an alcoholic found God, you know, and, you know, Jesus helped him with overcoming the alcoholism. I don't believe that. I never did believe something like that. What I believe is, you know, yeah, you have an alcohol problem, you have a drug problem, you got over it yourself. You know, and, you know, maybe, you know, maybe it's like a psychological thing, too, where it's like, okay, I'm doing this for Jesus. You know, I'm doing this, you know, for Jesus. And it's fine. It's like, okay, so you need, you need a little motivator, I guess you'd say. And I guess that's the kind of what I, what I mean. It's like, but ultimately... There's a, it's like a placebo. You, it, you're not, you, he's not doing anything. It's all in your mind. You got over it. It wouldn't be so much better than just to say, hey, I got off of my own drug addiction. I didn't need fucking Jesus. I didn't need any of that. I got, I got through with my own drug addiction. Wouldn't that be awesome? But, whatever. So, your mother would be fucking pissed off at you if she, if, cause you know she's looking down on this uh, from wherever. I don't know. Heaven? I don't know. She could be in hell for all I know. And I'm not trying to say that to be mean. I mean, I'm not really saying that to be mean either. I'm just saying, you know, why do we always assume that our loved ones are in heaven? You know? Why do we assume that? Like, I'm not going to get into that, but, you know, it's possible as you can be in hell. You know, it's, I'm not trying to be mean, but, you know, but anyway, supposedly you think that she's looking down on you, so okay, so then you should be, you should be, uh, believing that your mother's looking down on you when you say shit like he needs he needs uh, medication and he needs to see a psychiatrist and he needs to be diagnosed with schizophrenia he needs you know and remember she was she was, she was very vocal about that shit you know she was saying and she was saying she doesn't believe in that so just, just do do your mother a favor. Stop saying it, okay? She did not raise you like that, okay? Moving on to my rich uncle now. Oh boy. First things first. Just like my mom. Enough with the fucking lies. I don't need to tell you again. No more fucking lying. Second, no more fucking judging, okay? You, you know, you can't sit there and fucking judge people, okay? Enough, enough with the fuck, enough with the, the being the bigger man thing. You want to be a bigger man, then you be the fucking bigger man here. I don't know you shit. But if you were that, if if you let, let's say, let me just tell you something. Believe it or not, I'm the one being wronged here. I'm the one being accused of making up the sign on the corner of my street. Okay. So you're the one accusing me of this. Okay. So stop accusing me of it, okay? This is what th this is what I'm talking about. I won't talk to you because I don't like being falsely accused of shit. So stop doing it, okay? Stop fucking doing it. You know. And you know, if you. It, if you really, really 
wanted to get on my good side, you would really be trying to get onto my good side. For example, you want to get on my good side? You want to really get on my good side? How about next time you see me at the Chinese buffet, you come up to me and you pay for my meal. How's that sound? And I'm not just say I'm not just saying that because I want a free meal. Okay. I'm say I'm saying it because it would be a nice uh, token. It'll be a nice gesture to do that. It'll show me that you're not a fucking complete asshole. Okay. You see me walking down the street. Okay. And it's the middle of fucking winter. Offer to give me a ride. I might say no. I might say yes. And even, even if I flip out on you, at least later on I will go back and say, he was actually trying to help me. I respect that. And that's just, it's just good to do, to, to at least try to do good shit for somebody. Because even if it, even if I, even if you pull up beside me and say, hey, I'll give you a ride. And I flip out on you for it. Now I'm not saying, oh, uh, you pull up beside me, give me a ride, I get in, and you just start fucking bitching the entire time. No. You give me a good ride, it's with good intentions, and you know what? Maybe, I, maybe I'll fucking, you know, start thinking, maybe, okay, he's, he's actually trying. He's actually trying. No, instead, instead, Later that day, oh, I've seen your son walking down the street in the middle of winter, and I didn't give him a ride because I, he, does, he doesn't kiss my ass good enough. You know, that's not being the bigger man. Okay? So, enough with the bigger man shit. You want to be the bigger man? Be the fucking bigger man and just do, you know? Just fucking do, you know? Because let's face it here. Let's face it. I'm the victim here in all this. I won't speak to you because you falsely, falsely accuse me of doing that. And I don't like being falsely accused of shit. Okay? Uh, the other thing you can stop doing is this whole alpha male bullshit. Okay? You're not the alpha male. Like I said, you're not even a beta male. You're a fucking omega male. You're the omega man in this situation. Okay? I don't know why that I don't know why that, that movie's called the Omega Man. Okay? Because I guess it's like Alpha and Omega. I guess Alpha's the beginning and Omega's the end. So it was because the, that guy was like the last man on Earth or something. That's why they called him the Omega Man. But when it comes down to, you know, people being Alpha, uh, Alpha males and Beta males and Omega males. Well, let me try. Let me try to. Uh, let me try to explain this. Being the alpha male, okay, like, Donald Trump uh, is, like, the alpha male. He's an alpha, he's considered an alpha male, okay? He's a leader. He takes charge, okay? And a beta male is, uh, a beta male is kind of like a follower, kind of like somebody that, that follows the um, alpha uh, male, 
okay, and, you know, they're kind of like the underlings or whatever. And then an Omega male is just somebody that doesn't give a shit. Um, pretty much it's, pretty much it's like, pretty much it's just somebody that they get shit on on a daily basis. Um, it's like, it's like, think about it this way. Okay. An Omega is just somebody that, you know, it's like the effeminate male. Okay. Like, just doesn't, like, I know you work, but uh, you don't get any women, you know, the uh, alpha male gets the women, okay? Like, look at Donald Trump. You know, he has the hot wife. The beta male, eh, he's the guy that's, like, trying way too hard. And then the, the, the girl just get, goes to the fucking alpha male anyway. And then, then the, 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 the uh, omega male is just the guy that's, like... Like, I don't give a fucking shit. Like, I'm, I'm married to my fucking job. Like, you know, so... It's like, it's like somebody that doesn't even give a shit about, about, you know, leading. It's kind of like... It's kind of like, you're not the leader at, at that place. You're, you're pretty much an underling, but you're, like... They just, you know, you just do their bidding over there and shut the fuck up, you know. You're not getting any women, okay. I've never seen him with a woman, okay. I'm not going to get into this again, but I've never seen him with a woman, okay. I've never seen him with a guy either, you know. It's, it's a weird thing. Nobody has seen him with a girl. I've asked my mom, have you ever seen my rich uncle with a, with a, with a woman? And she said, no. Have you ever seen him with a guy? No. Drunk uncle, have you ever seen him with a, with a woman? No. Have you ever seen him with a guy? No. See, let's think of it this way, okay? Donald Trump is like the alpha male, okay? My my uh, drunk uncle is kind of like the beta male, okay? He's a guy that, that, that's like, he gets like the bottom of the barrel women, you know? But then my rich uncle is kind of like the Omega who gets nothing, if that makes sense. He's just the guy that goes home with the big cash, but doesn't really get much out of it, if that makes sense. So, but my uncle tries to act like he's the, the alpha male. Oh, I've, I've slept with thousands of women. Yeah, okay. No one's ever seen you with a woman. No one's ever seen you in public with a woman before. My mom doesn't count, okay? That's your sister. Don't be weird. So, you know, it's, just stop being the fucking, he's, he acts like he's the fucking alpha male, but he's just like a fucking omega male. It's like, enough. Like, stop being someone they're not. You know, you make somebody else money, okay? It's not like you're owning the fucking, uh, company, you're making somebody else rich. Okay? That's that's the whole purpose of your of your job. Isn't that like the whole purpose of any, anyone else's job? You're making somebody else money? Pretty much. Unless you own your own business, then you're just making yourself money. But you know what? It, 
I'm not gonna fu I'm not gonna fucking bitch. You know, I'm not gonna be a I'm not gonna be bitch about it. I don't consider myself to be the alpha male. I don't consider myself to be the beta male. You know, and I'm gonna admit that. Okay. I'm probably the fucking omega male myself. But at least I can fucking admit it. And this whole ties into your fucking narcissistic personality disorder as well. Because you think that you're the big alpha male here, but you're not, you're not even, the, you're not even the omega, you're not even the fucking beta male. On top of this, on top of all this, you, you know, you're, you, you, you don't think that you did anything wrong. The reason I won't, do you think that the reason I won't talk to you is because of something I did, which is bullshit. Bull fucking shit. I didn't do shit to you. But of course you have to fuck it. You, 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 you. But of course you have to, you know, turn it around. You won't admit that. You, you, you know, I got you on fucking tape saying, like, making a false accusation while the people that have put that thing up on that light post are fucking laughing at you. Okay? They're fucking laughing at you. I'm sure they're watching this video. I have, I have my, uh, I have my idea of who did it. Okay? But I'm not going to say who. Because, whatever. You know, I don't want fucking trouble. Honestly, it's better that I don't know. You know? Because these people are working anonymously. And I tried to explain this before. Once I start knowing who these people are that, that were fucking with me, once I start digging in, sometimes you don't want to dig too deep. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. You know what I'm saying? But once you start digging in too deep and you find out the, the identities of some of these people, then it's just like, okay, he knows who I am. Now, you know... If I ever see them, then I could just fucking beat them up now. Whereas before, I didn't, he, he doesn't know my identity. You know, so if I assault him on the street, you know, that will put a face to a name, right? It's like a lot of Barf's friends here. You know, I don't know what they look like. I don't know what, what's his face, Chuck Notaro. I don't know what he looks like. That's a good thing. You know why? Because it, 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 if I knew what he looked like, you know, I could pass him for like uh, 50 times a day. I don't know who he is. But if I know who he is, then I'm going to, then it's like, so like, fuck it. He knows who I am. I can, I, you know, the, the get jig is up. I'm going to fucking do something about it. But if, if I don't know who he is, he can't really attack me in public because then I'll put a face to a name. He can't really come up to me in public and say, Hey, I'm Chuck Notaro. I'm going to fucking beat you up right now. That'll just put a face to a name. So sometimes it's better. And I'm not saying Chuck Notaro put that thing up. But I'm just saying that, uh, you know... I don't, you know, I don't care who did it at this point. It's something that happened, what, four years ago? I don't know. Three years ago. It's like old now. I don't really care. But I, what I'm saying is, you know, I'm pretty sure people were laughing at you. You know, when you said, oh, you made up that thing where you, where you found that thing at the corner. I'm pretty sure whoever did that is watching my videos and and heard you say that like oh my god we just got away with fucking harassing uh, uh, 
uh, Frodo here. You know, I bet you that these people are laughing at that. So, enough with the false accusations, enough with the, the alpha male attitude. You know, because you're not alpha male, you're a fucking omega male. Uh, enough with the tough guy alpha male attitude, enough with the lies, enough with this being the bigger man bullshit. Because we all see how one-sided it is anyway. And enough with the false accusations. And I'm out. Fuck you. I'm out.